Well, that's not good. Let's see what that's all about. Welcome to Ozark Garage. Follow along as I fabricate, modify, restore, and drive interesting projects. Stick around see what's next. So the ARB air locker in the front axle of the Truggy is leaking, which means it's on its way to failure. So we started simple by checking the compressor and then the fittings on the axle housing where we found a leak. Hoping for a lucky break here, maybe this is all it is. New Teflon tape and nope, still leaks. Check the differential breather hose and there's air coming out of it, which means the ARB is leaking somewhere in the differential housing. The next step was to get the steering and suspension links out of the way so we can remove the diff cover and see what's going on inside. After some further investigation, we determined that it was actually leaking from inside the ARB. This means the whole front axle has to be torn apart to get that out and repair it. So much for the quick fix. All right, so now that we've got the ARB apart, let's talk about how it works. So high pressure air comes through this copper tube into the seal housing. The seal housing stays stationary while the carrier is free to rotate inside of it. And it's called the seal housing because it's got these two rubber seals here where the air pressure can come in between those seals and then get into this hole here on the carrier. From there, the air pressure goes behind this large bonded seal, which then pushes on the clutch. Once we apply air pressure to the back of that bonded seal, you can see how it pops up and locks this side gear to the carrier itself, locking the differential because it cannot spin freely. Once the uh, air pressure is removed, the spring washer here pushes the clutch back in place. Then the side gear can spin freely, making it an open differential again. So in this locker, this bonded seal is what needs to be replaced because it leaks air into the differential itself. So here's the new bonded seal, got it from Summit Racing. A little bit hard to tell, but you can see that the old one is definitely more worn than this new one. So let's get the new one in. So all I'm doing here is coating it in white lithium grease, keep the O-ring from tearing, and make sure this repair lasts for a long time. And you can see here, I made some witness marks to make sure I got the case back exactly the way it's supposed to go. Today's tech tip is about putting gear oil in a differential like this or transmission or anything else. Put it in a gallon Ziploc bag, cut the corner off, and then you're going to squeeze it out like you're frosting a cake. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and tune in next time because we're taking the Truggy all the way to Georgetown, Colorado to do some ice racing. See you then. <laughs>